Today I'm going to show you my most loved, the most worn fragrances recently. So in case you want to know what I'm wearing at the moment, then make sure you keep on watching this video. Hi, my name is Amanda and in case you're new here, welcome. Make sure you stay and in case you are returning, thank you so much, I appreciate you. Make sure you have subscribed to my channel. Also make sure you follow me on Instagram over here because I do post a lot of outfit photos, beauty content and beauty i mean perfume related content of course my sense of the day and so on and so forth i also have lovely conversations with you in my dms and i really appreciate it so so make sure you follow me on there as well um so i want to get right into the selection to be honest um there's no particular order i'm just gonna go ahead as i as i see them and yeah so I'm starting off with Roger Parfums Enigma for Femme. So this perfume, um, I've talked about it before. Um, I've actually made a review and it was kindly sent by Roger, which I really appreciate. And this is a perfume that grew on me a lot. Um, of course, when you immediately spray it, you already know that it's a quality and very refined perfume. But I have to be honest with you, I thought it was absolutely beautiful, but the more I wear it, the more I appreciate it. It's, it's a fragrance that grew Rose on you and that is something that I started to love and appreciate even more in time so just spray it the best way I can describe this to me uh, describe this to you is that it's a very sophisticated elegant um, perfume and also very strong it also gives you the feeling like as all Raja fragrances as to me seem very royal and you know very aristocratic i don't know why but you know it reminds me of the crown i don't know why just like i would just imagine people from the royal family wearing these kind of perfumes it's super elegant super beautiful and it is um a little bit of a mature smell and it is woody also say it's floral but it has a touch of oriental as well and i really really love to wear this i love the hairspray and the hair mist i have it as well and it's just the more and more i wear it the more and more i love it i don't know i don't think they make body lotions i don't know but this would be a really really great one i just love the depth of this perfume because you have a freshness and floral note but you feel that there's a round warm note and i'm thinking it has to be the sandalwood and the vanilla that's at least what i'm getting from this fragrance and i've just recently been super drawn to it i've recently seen um to really really enjoy this and i grab it a lot and i wear it a lot i have to say though i'm like a lot like i work a lot from home so i don't i'm not a person that is out and about all the time but for me every occasion is an occasion to wear an excellent scent so i am sitting at home wearing roger enigma i'm just saying <laughs> um so yeah this is an absolute stunner um but you have to be into classic vintage kind of perfumes not that it's extremely powdery but it definitely gives that off also if you have this or if you want to have this i have to be honest i think you will appreciate it more in time it's beautiful like i had this impression of it from the start but the more i wear it the more i fell in love with this these notes and i catch myself grabbing it a lot also make sure also make sure you stay on this video because at the end of this video i am gonna talk to you about two new fragrances leo fragrances and i'm gonna tell you what i think about them so the next one that i'm wearing a lot is also one that i have mentioned recently this perfume is described as a powdery vanilla woody rose or sweet perfume and the top notes are peach neroli bergamot the middle notes are rose, heliotrope, ylang ylang, jasmine and geranium and base notes are orris root, vanilla mask, ambergris, sandalwood and patchouli. The 
Via della Spigia from Le Vie di Milano, which is this beauty and it's from Tussardi. And I've talked about this line before, so in case you haven't in case you haven't had the chance yet to hear about it, make sure you watch my other two videos because I am talking you through about these fragrances and they have a lot of nice fragrances. The top notes are apple, honeycomb and bergamot. The middle notes are honey, jasmine, mahonial and rose. And the base notes are tonka bean, musk, hawthorn, hawthorn heliotrope. So this perfume is really beautiful. I've discovered this recently. Like I mentioned before, I've talked about this perfume, so make sure you are um, going on my previous video and watch it. And this one is a very unusual perfume for, perfume for me because it's more of a softer fragrance. It's a floral oriental and has musky undertones to it or like notes to it. And there's also a honey feel to it. So it makes me remind of really luxurious hotel. You know, the lobby perfumes that a lot of hotels have, what it smells like. It's so luxurious and so elegant. And I am in love with this fragrance. Um, I've hesitated between this and another one, which was more of a leathery one, but this one, it's so beautiful and I enjoy wearing this, but this is really just a perfume. Like I imagine someone wearing this and passing past you and you just like, you get a whiff of it and you're like, what is this? But it is not a whiff that makes you like, wow, this is really strong. More like this innocent kind of whiff that is like a soft, sophisticated version. So this one is a really, really nice perfume and I grab this a lot. Also, this layered over Baccarat Rouge is incredible. I find um, to be really, really beautiful as a layering perfume if you have like more of an ambery or an oudy fragrance, but just by itself, it's absolutely beautiful. So if you're looking for something soft, but still very beautiful and very sophisticated, then this is probably something that you would love. So the next one is something that I don't need to introduce again, or maybe I should. In case you're new to my channel, then you probably don't know. But if you go a few videos back, I have found one of my new forever fragrances and it is the Blur Turquoise. And this one is described as a woody vanilla and salty perfume. Um, and it has in the top note, in the top notes, it has salt, incense, black pepper. The middle notes are ylang ylang, cypriot oil or na nagarmota, Indian jasmine, and the base notes are vanilla, musk, and sandalwood. And for those who don't know, this perfume is actually being created by um, Aurélien Guichard, which is the creator of Matière Première. And this perfume I have found, and I fell in love with it, but absolutely fell in love with it. The thing is that I've never smelled anything like it before. Whenever I wear this now, I get so many compliments because this is a beast mode, okay? This lasts. Like when I first tried it, I tell you, I can repeat the story of how I found it because it's such a gorgeous story. So I was with a friend shopping and I know our many fragrances, but I have never smelled and how I smell it again. Oh my God, so good. So. I went to the counter and I was um, trying out the new collection, I mean the new collection, it's an older collection, but I'm not a fan of Rouge Malachit, I don't think it's anything special, it's beautiful, but it, it wasn't like something that wowed me that I needed, and so I was trying this one and I tried it on my skin, and I tried it and I thought, mm, that's nice, it's different, like it smelled like a spa to me, like it literally smells like a luxury spa, I don't know if you've ever been um, lucky enough to visit Bali or any like um, place where they have like luxury spas and a lot of times they have like really nice interior and you walk in and it just smells so delicious and this is really the smell that gives off at first so I thought mm, that's really nice but I wasn't immediately captured by it so I was walking around we had dinner and I kept on sniffing my arm because the fragrance was changing. And what is absolutely gorgeous about this fragrance is that the vanilla in the, um, like the dry down is so incredible because you can start to slowly smell the vanilla more and more and more in combination with the salt. For me, this is a masterpiece because you would have never thought of the notes. Like it's such a beautiful, creative perfume. And that's why I love it. I just enjoyed it so much. Um, and I can even not even wait to wear this in colder weather. I think this is also a great summer perfume. I wore this in summer. 
I just love this so much and I think with a vanilla perfume on top it would be even like in more incredible but what I love about it is that it's very the projection is really big and um, like really great big the projection is amazing and what is beautiful as well is that um, it lasts forever like this is my longest lasting fragrance I tried it at 4 in the evening and then the next day I woke up even at midday I still smelled it and all my clothes stop it it smells so good and you know this is a very special fragrance so you don't have to if you're not if you don't like woody scents and you don't like fragrances that smell a bit different then probably this is not for you i've heard people say this is masculine i don't think so because i feel so mysterious and i feel like it's a perfume that makes you feel mysterious sultry it's so beautiful i think if someone if you're talking to someone and you know they come close to you they just have to come back and say what is this smell so this one is something that i wear so much at the moment because i'm absolutely in love with it and it's a forever fragrance by the way i've heard rumors it's discontinued i messaged armani and they wrote me back that they don't have any plans to discontinue it because that would be so bad so the next one is one that i've talked about i mean all of them i talked about you i talked to my talk i talked to you about them before because they're my most one fragrances but it's lira which is been a great perfume to wear i love this i think this is so gorgeous and i enjoy this as a layering perfume for woody scents ah oh, this smells so much like cake lemon cake and it's so so gorgeous and i think this is a perfume for me it is not a projection that it's incredible but it's a perfume that stays very well it doesn't stay like 12 hours on me it stays more like i would say six to seven hours maybe um but i still think this is a great perfume this is a perfume i don't have to think about it i just take it i put it on and i leave the house or i stay at home i just think this is very simple it, for me this is a simple perfume doesn't mean that it's not beautiful it's very very gorgeous and i really enjoy wearing this and if you love gourmands and you love vanilla and you love to smell like a lemon cake then this is a really great option notes of this perfume are the, the top notes of this perfume are blood orange, bergamot, lavender, and the middle notes are cinnamon, licorice, and jasmine. Licorice, jasmine. The base notes are caramel, vanilla, and musk. So the next one that I've been grabbing quite a lot is a Memoirs London um, Isla Rose in this gorgeous bottle with um, Swarovski crystals and Memoise is actually a brand that I have featured in a brand collaboration so make sure you have a look at the video um, but the top notes of this perfume are red rose and red berries the middle notes are magnolia, jasmine, cardamom and raspberry and the base notes are old sandalwood, amber, leather, musk and vanilla and the owner of this fragrance of this brand actually created this for the birth of her daughter and i've been grabbing this perfume so much lately this is a beautiful rose woody kind of fragrance this is a fragrance that is so smooth and is so beautiful it almost reminds me of a summer sunset of something new it's just absolutely beautiful and this is a rose fragrance that i love because it has an oud combo but it's not like the oud that you find in rose darabi where it's like super strong so i mean i actually think that a lot of people would love this i think a lot of people are sleeping on this perfume because you know a lot of people who are looking for an oud rose combo that is not too overbearing and is not too strong and is not you know i don't know too heavy on the um wood side this one is absolutely perfect because it is a little bit more on the softer side but still very noticeable all of the fragrances have a beautiful dna so if you try this and you love it you might check out their other fragrances they made it possible to create woody fragrances but in a lightness with the lightness it's not too strong and it doesn't over like it's not so over this is absolutely beautiful in case you love fragrances that have rose in it then you should absolutely try this one the next one that i'm wearing a lot is 
Oud Satin Mood, the hair perfume, and this one is a vanilla rose oud fragrance. The notes are Bulgarian rose, Turkish rose, vanilla, oud, benzoin, and violet. And I love to wear the hair perfume. I have to say that whenever I wear this hair perfume, I get compliments. It just stays on your hair forever. It has a light, like for me, this is a ro oudy rose, but has a soapy note to it. It is so stunning. It smells like, I don't know why, but this, you know, when you go to the hairdresser and they wash your hair with like those expensive hair products, you know, this is what it reminds me of. It's just so, so pretty. And in the hair, oh my God, it's so beautiful. And what I love about the MFK brand, if you feel like the perfume is too expensive, I say it again, get the hair mist because they smell exactly the same. They don't contain alcohol as for my knowledge. That means it doesn't damage or dry out your hair that much and they just stay on your hair. And I'm looking to get the Baccarat Rouge hair mist as well because I'm so in love with this and it stays on forever. And I just love to pair any perfume, uh, any perfume I wear on my body with a hair mist and I grab this so much lately. You know, I wear this at home. Like I love to wear this at home. After my blow dry, I love to put some hair um, mist. Then the next one I wear quite a lot at the moment is Baccarat Rouge and you can see like there's a dint in it because I have it since quite a long time now and um, Baccarat Rouge for those who don't know is a woody amber on the warm and spicy perfume and the notes are just one sec the notes top notes are saffron jasmine the middle notes are amberwood, ambergris, and the basins are fear resin and cedar. So I know this is very popular. We've talked about this a couple of times and um, a lot of people are wearing it nowadays, but this is just a masterpiece. Um, I've had a comment and I, I think I like I responded to it as well. You know, I say that some fragrances are popular and I say, of course, it has an impact on their value. It's with everything. Everything that's luxurious, if you look at that, that's the same with a lot of luxury brands. And I'm not saying that it decreases the value, but you just think twice to buy it because a lot of people have it. That doesn't mean that I think you shouldn't wear it because I wear it because you know, you should care if other people wear it. But if you're looking for a signature scent, it's different because, you know, when I, I want people, when they smell my perfume, to think of me, not to think, oh, I've smelled this everywhere in the mall. It's not a bad thing, but that's how a signature perfume is supposed to work. You know, someone should smell this perfume and then combine the smell with you. If you're lucky and you live far away from a lot of people, then probably Bac Rouge is your signature scent. I love to wear this and I love to, to, I love to layer this and I would probably repurchase the extra version because I think it's a beautiful perfume. And now that it's cold, colder, I grab it a lot more and I also want the hair mist. However, I am finding myself like, um, I find myself layering a lot of perfumes with this and I love to layer. What did I say? I love to layer this one with it. I love to layer any kind of gourmand notes, not uh, gourmand notes with a citrus, but like notes, like really gourmand notes, vanilla notes. Yes, vanilla notes with this perfume. I think this is a great layering perfume and this stays on so long. So I think this is a great option also to make sure your hair perfume stays long. Your perfume stays long. I want to get the body lotion, so I'm not sure when I finish this if I will get a full bottle directly. I probably will try the body lotion first since I love to layer this, but it's a beautiful, it's a masterpiece. Like it's a creation that is absolutely stunning. And I just love saffron and uh, amber juice in fragrances. So if you have a good saffron fragrance, like you know, recommendations, your recommendations are welcome. But yeah, this is one that I grab uh, recently a little bit more and I enjoy wearing it. And I just love to wear this in colder weather as well. By the way, um, I know a lot of people say this is an occasional fragrance. One thing you have to know about me, there are no occasions for me. Every day, if I just sit at home in my pajamas and I wanna wear Baccarat Rouge with body oil and hair mist, I will do it. I just, I just am like that, I just like wearing what I like. I don't feel that there have to be occasions. I mean, perception of others is not your responsibility. You need to feel comfortable, whether it is clothes, whether it is perfume, whether it is makeup, because who made up the rules what you can wear and what you cannot wear? Right, so you have to wear whatever you like. The other thing is, 
whenever you feel comfortable in something then you don't mind you know what but I, mean? I have to tell you like i remember when i was younger i always got asked why are you overdressed today i just say because i am it's easy because i love to and i think you know why not why not so yeah i love to wear this fragrance i wear it whenever if i want to wear it to go do grocery shopping if i wear it at home in my pajamas i wear it i just love to smell good i love to smell good and i do it for myself so yeah i can understand why a lot of people would probably only like this in certain occasions like i'm not judging i'm just talking about my personal situation because there's a lot of people that like softer fragrances so this is a more of a um, stronger take for them so don't get me wrong I completely understand when I recommend fragrances I just always say wear whatever makes you feel comfortable if it's too strong you know don't force yourself wear whatever makes you feel great about yourself and Baccarat Rouge does even in your pajamas so the last two fragrances is actually really interesting because I'm gonna show you Dior fragrances and we have here Vanilla Diorama in this gorgeous little bottle and we have Oud Isfahan and this one, I just want to show you this bubble. How cute is this? <laughs> I mean, I told you like I can't, I can't order from the online website to Switzerland. I don't know why, but um, that's just the situation. And yeah, that's a bit annoying. But I didn't want to buy a full bottle, but I had to. I would have to go to the Dior store. So I thought to myself, I'm gonna go on eBay and I'm just gonna go and order the fragrance, like the sample. <laughs> it was expensive, but whatever. So this one is described as a warm, spicy vanilla, citrusy and woody. And the top notes are orange, pink pepper and lemon. The middle notes are rum, cacao, cardamom. And the base notes are bourbon, vanilla, sandalwood and patchouli. So what I have to say about this fragrance. Um, first of all, it's a very good vanilla. It's a good vanilla perfume. But I feel like the vibe is very similar to Fave Delicious, which I really love. And I know Fave Delicious to me is a fragrance. Like I would never recommend it to... I wouldn't say it's a blind buy secure because it has a specific smell, it's powdery and not everyone likes it. I know a lot of people don't like it. I happen to really enjoy it. I don't have a full bottle at the moment. Um, I'm not sure if I will get one, probably, maybe, I don't know. But I really enjoy this fragrance. And I think the Vanilla Diorama is on the same vibe. It's a bit powdery, it's a little play doh -y, and um, it's spicy. I think for the colder weather, this would be beautiful. But it didn't last long on my skin. It lasted around five to six hours and it doesn't have a very good projection. So would I personally buy the full bottle? I don't want to commit to saying I wouldn't because then I end up buying it and I'm telling you I got it, but I don't think so. I enjoy it, um, but it's not a fragrance that wows me. And unless I do blind buying, I only buy full bottle if I'm absolutely stunned by a fragrance because there is no point. Of course, it's nice for me to talk about it, but yeah, blind buying is different because obviously I don't know if the fragrance I buy really is what I want. But when it comes to purchasing a perfume in store, you better believe I only pay if I like it. So I will only get it if I really, 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 really like it. So yeah, that's my point on that. If you're looking for vanilla fragrance that's a little bit spicy, that is able, to, like that you're able to wear in colder weather, and that has a play doughy kind of powdery smell, and and you don't look for something that's super strong and not super long lasting, then I think this would be a great option. If you're looking for something that is more of a beast mode fragrance, then probably this is not the one. At least that's my experience on my skin. Like I don't know if anyone had help as else had a different experience but my definition of a beast milk fragrance is when a beast when a fragrance lasts at least 10 hours and has a projection and people can smell it on me when i walk past this probably if you overspray it it probably works well bear in mind i have a sample so i will not be able to overspray it that much nevertheless um i, I sprayed it before yeah, it's beautiful. Honestly, it's not about that. But I think if they would have made this fragrance a bit stronger, 
then I probably would have purchased it because I like the notes, I like the way it smells. It's just an overall, you know, opinion. The next one that I have never smelled before, no, I have smelled before, but I have smelled it like rapidly when I was at Dior, which is the Oud Isfahan. And so many people rave about this. And when I sprayed it, let me tell you, let me tell you about this fragrance. So, before I do though, I want to tell you the notes. This fragrance. The top notes are labdanum, rose, patchouli. No. The top notes are labdanum, is labdanum. The middle notes is rose, patchouli, and saffron. And the base notes are oud, sandalwood, and cedar. So when I first sprayed this perfume, I was like, there is something that reminds me of another fragrance I own and I really had to think because I was like, where does it come from? Which is the fragrance? And so this fragrance reminds me almost, I would say 80% of Woody style by Arabian, no, what's it called? By Arabian Oud. Again, it's a sample, look how cute. So, but I prefer Arabian Oud's Oudi style. Why? Because this one and this one, I would say are 70, 80% the same. There is a difference, but the difference is that this, I feel, is a lot, it has a lot of deeper and rounder notes. So it has a little bit more sweetness to it than this and this for me is one of the best oud fragrances out there it has an amazing price it lasts forever the projection on this this is <laughs> this is one of those perfumes where you have to be careful because if you overspray it you might as well give a decan to everyone you meet that's how strong it is um but this one is a beautiful take from Dior on Oud Ispaham because it has a very oriental note to uh, it's very oriental and very um oudy and it's difficult for western brands and like to create this um profile that really reminds you of like you know middle eastern fragrances and it does but i have this so i will probably not get this one let me try again i compared them um i like to to yeah i just i think it's absolutely gorgeous um but oud isfahan is really like a perfume that is very very strong and also can perceived from some as masculine you know i don't think that because i love to wear commercially seen masculine fragrances that are a little bit more woody but this one, they smell so, so similar. So trust me, if I would have to choose, I would use Woody Style. Just because I think Woody Style is a little bit rounder and is a little bit more sweeter. I can just try that out on my... You know, the, you know what, if you like in this fragrance from Oud Isfahan, if you enjoy the Oud, the depth of it, then you will enjoy this. Don't get scared, because the first two minutes you spray this, you're like, what is this smell? Wait, trust me, wait. And it settles to this beautiful oriental fragrance. If you're looking for a fragrance that reminds you of Dubai, that reminds you of expensive, um, you know, Middle Eastern beauty, then this is your go-to. For me, this is one of the best old fragrances. And you know, as your as your um, taste uh, evolves in fragrances, as it always does, I used to wear this nonstop. Now I wear this a little bit less because for me, this is really a fragrance. You go into a room and everyone will smell you. And everyone will know you smell expensive and luxurious. So if you love something that is oozy and very mysterious and a little bit more on the woody side, then trust me on this, get this one. It's nice, it's nice, but I now that I know this, and I know this since years, I don't know when I wore it. I bought this in 2015, not this bottle, but the perfume. So now it's like uh, six years. Wow, that's a long time. Six years, I noticed, and this is just recently, I tried this, 
and I know this is a favorite of a lot of people so if you love this then you probably will like this as well in my opinion in my humble opinion this is probably this is better and I'm just gonna tell Top you notes enough. are Lots Lotus and White Mask the middle notes are amber and the base notes are wood but I thought there was some rose in this I honestly thought there was some rose in it. Um, to me, this reminds me so much of Oud Ispahan. I have to be honest with you. It reminds me a lot of it. And now that I have it, I don't think I need Oud Ispahan. Yeah, I just think that this, for me, this is a tad bit, tad bit more um, sweet and a little bit more depth to it. And it's a little bit more round and you know um i i think this is gorgeous so if you're looking for a dupe for Oud Ispahan, it's not exactly the same it gives you the same vibe i would say it's like 70 80 percent similar um then maybe try out swiss arabian because i think the price is amazing this lasts forever honestly you don't need a lot and this is 100 ml and i think i paid 100 dollars for it which is a really really great price as always i will link all of the fragrances down below make sure you check it I'll out see you next time